Hello friends, in this video we will learn about the production possibility curve also referred sometimes as the production possibility frontier. The PPF or the PPC shows us all the different combinations of output of two goods that can be produced using the available resources and technology. Now, listening to the definition at one go might not give you the intuition behind what the PPF is. However, with the help of this example, things will get pretty much clearer. As we know, every nation has certain amount of technology and resources. These technologies and resources can be thought of as the nation's constraints. This means that a nation with higher resources and greater technology can produce more than the nation with lower resources and lower technology. This shows us that a nation's production capacity depends on the resources that the nation possesses. Now, to understand the production possibility frontier, let's take the example of our own country. As we know, that the government is always worried about two things. First is it keeps on thinking of how to feed all the people in the country. And the second is to protect the people in the country. Which means given the resources, we assume that the Indian government has the task of fulfilling the stomachs of all the Indians and also giving them security. However, as we know, given the limited resources and technology that we have, the government cannot produce unlimited amount of food supply. Neither can it produce unlimited amount of arms and ammunition. We know that if a lot of resources are spent on food supply, then there would be a lack of resources for arms and ammunition, which would make the government compromise on national security. On the other hand, if the government spends all the resources on arms and ammunition, then it would have to compromise on food supply. That said, we can now try to understand what the production possibility curve showcases. Let's take bread as the proxy for the production of food and guns as the proxy for the production of arms and ammunition. Here, I plot arms and ammunition on the x-axis and bread on the y-axis. Given the resources that India possesses, if India spends all of its resources on the production of bread, then we say that this is the maximum amount of bread that India can produce. If India spends all of the resources on producing guns, then we say that this is the maximum amount of guns that India can produce. However, as we know, it does not make sense to produce only breads or only guns and hence the country can actually 
opt for different combinations of both. It can opt to produce a lot of bread and very little guns or it can opt to produce a lot of guns and very little bread or maybe it will produce both of them in an equal amount. If the country spends its resources efficiently then we can see that it can have different combinations of guns and breads that it can produce and all these points showcase that. When we join all these points we can see that we end up getting a frontier. This is what we call as the production possibility frontier. One thing to remember is that all the points on the frontier are the most efficient points. Given the resources that a country has, a country can produce at a point like this which I mark as X. As you can see, given the resources, the country could have produced more of guns or more of breads. However, it ended up producing lesser than its capacity. Hence, a point like X is what we call as an inefficient point, meaning that the country underproduced. Whereas, if you think of a point like Y, which is outside the production possibility frontier, then one can see that given the resources and the technology that the country possesses, it is impossible to produce breads and guns so that we reach a point like Y. Hence, we say that all the points on the production possibility frontier are the most efficient points. One last thing that I want you to remember from the production possibility frontier is that if I ever wish to produce more of guns, then I lose an opportunity to produce some amount of breads. Similarly, when I wish to produce more of breads, I have to compromise on guns. This loss of opportunity for not being able to produce one good because I am producing another good is what we call as the opportunity cost. Formally, you can say that the opportunity cost is the loss of other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. That's it from this video. Thank you for being patient.